Kimberly Edwards from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you guys how to make mini meatballs. I know it's such a revelation from the big ones but I mean there is a little bit of difference in the small ones. Tonight I'm going to actually use these on top of a homemade pizza that we're making. You can put them inside of lasagna instead of using the ground beef. Um, you can put it on top of salads. You can use them inside of soups like wedding, um, wedding Italian wedding soup. You can, shucks, what else can you do with them? Mom, just throw them in pasta even. Exactly. Whatever you want. But they're cute and they're little. I'm doing a little bit of a different um, flavor with them today just because I'm putting them on pizza and I kind of want to have it reminiscent of a little bit of a sausage. So here, here's what we're doing. I'm not using a whole pound of ground meat. I don't need it. I only need a little bit to just put it on my pizza. So I'm using a half a pound of ground beef. This is extra lean, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of butter. Now, I would add butter anyway, because butter is my secret weapon to make everything tasty when it's ground meat. Um, it lubricates it up, keeps it nice and moist, it's flavorful, it makes a huge difference. Now, if you don't use other things, try butter. You can be happy with it. You'll be happy that I told you. I'll tell you. All right, next thing's next. I ground up some black pepper. I already did it, so I don't have to do it for you. This is just a mixture of um, a couple different colors of camp hot peppers. They are from Cambodia. And I'll show you what they look like. Here's one of the packets. They have red ones and black ones and white ones, and that's what it looks like. And I just really finely ground them up. And when you're using mini things, when you're making things in miniature, you wanna make sure that everything's really homogeneous. You don't want anything to have big chunks because it's already so tiny. You got what I'm saying? Now, you can add egg to this if you want to. I don't really add egg to my ground meat. I don't think it's really necessary. And if you add that egg, it's extra liquid, extra moisture. So you need to add extra breadcrumbs. So that means you're adding extra filler and that's just less flavor, isn't it? It's just less meat flavor. I want to taste the meat. That's the whole point. Unless you have a big family to feed and you're on a big budget, then hey, do that. But I don't want to do that today. Now, I'm gonna put a little bit of car ground caraway, and my mom looked at me like, really? But I am going to, and she's gonna like it, and I know she's gonna like it, but she doesn't know it yet. Um, ground caraway, now, they use caraway seeds in breakfast type of sausage. Those little seeds that you see in there are caraway seeds. Now, I don't have caraway seeds today. That's cool, I'm just gonna add a t like a tiny, 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 like, dash, like a dash or a little bit of caraway into that, just to get that little je ne sais quoi that I'm looking for, that everyone's gonna go, what's that? That's different and interesting? Cool. I'm also gonna use something to make it a little spicy. Instead of using, you can use chili flakes, you can use cayenne pepper, you can use chili powder. Tonight I'm using this awesome smoked paprika powder. It's a hot smoked paprika powder. This one is the hot variety. They have sweet, they have bittersweet, and they have hot. And this is from lashinata.com. You can check them out online. Uh, it's lashinata smoked paprika powder. Unbelievable. Smell, taste, the whole nine. I'm a believer, believe it, believe it. I'm gonna put just a little bit in. This is super hot. So I'm gonna put a dash. This actually says a dash, this little tablespoon, this little uh, measuring spoon. But that's probably about an eighth of a teaspoon, I'd say. All right, next thing's next. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in there. Let's grab a salt. These, this is a heavy duty uh, spice grinder from Drogaria. You can get those online at qualfirst.com. They have peppers and salts and chili and garlic and stuff and they're really heavy duty. They got these great caps, tasty stuff, right? So in that goes. I'm gonna use my hands. I need to know how moist this mixture is. Now, in here I just have some cracker crumbs broken up. I don't know, this is about just under a half a cup. I won't need half a cup. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit over top. I don't know, a couple tablespoons. And I'm going to mix it up with my hand. You have to use your hands. This is one of those things you gotta use your hands, okay? So mix it all up and then check the consistency of that meat. If it's too moist, then you're gonna need to add just a little bit more crumbs, and if it's just right, you're good. If it's, you know, if it's dry, then you need to, might need to add an egg or a little bit of moisture, just a little tiny hint, maybe a teaspoon of water just to moisten that back up again. All right, so that's good. Now you can use the other half of that meat to make a couple burgers or something for dinner. You know what I'm saying? Anyhow, here's my meat. It's beautiful, it smells nice, it looks nice. I'm gonna wash my hands quickly so I can get my pan prepared. Now we're making meatballs. You can bake these meatballs or you can do them in the pan. Tonight I'm gonna do them in the pan. A little bit of olive oil, that's about a tablespoon and a half. My pan is preheating on medium. Make sure you have enough in the bottom to coat the whole bottom. You want the um, meatballs to fry up easily and quickly. So here we go. We're going to just roll little tiny balls. 
Now, usually I would do a ball that's the, probably the size of a golf ball. That's what my usual meatball size is, about that. But make check it out. I'm doing meat, little tiny meatballs on my pizza. So I'm doing like minuscule versions of that. How about this? We're gonna look at maybe the size of a cherry. How about that? A small cherry at that. Just like that. Into my pan they go. You don't have to watch me do all of them. Maybe all you watch me do another one. Just take a little tiny bit of meat, roll it around just like you would with Play-Doh, right? And I'm gonna finish these and you'll see me when they're in here. What you wanna do is you just wanna brown them on all sides. It won't take very long because they're nice and small and uh, there's not as much surface area as a great big one, right? So also the heat doesn't have to go all the way to a, a giant center of a meatball. They're just tiny so it won't take nearly as long to cook all the way through. So let's repeat them. See you in a couple minutes. Now while these, while these bad boys are going on my stove top, which won't take very long, you can just shake your pan and move them around because they're so tiny that every, every side is gonna end up getting um, cooked. See, I don't know if you can see them. They look beautiful, they're so cute. All right, my meatballs are ready, they're ready to go. Sizzle, sizzle. They're all done nicely, browned on all sides. Um, here we go. Put them on a plate, just because I'm gonna use them in a hot second for my pizza. Won't that be tasty on pizza? I mean, really. You think so too, huh? Oh, yeah. Would you like to try one, mommy? Okay. Let me get you a fork. Don't they look nice? That's gonna be fabulous on a pizza. You might not have even thought of that. You might be like, man, I have no pepperoni. That doesn't mean you can't make pizza. You can make ham, you can use whatever, right? Try one of these bad boys. Tell me what you think about the caraway in there. Mmm, ooh la la. That's beautiful. Yeah? Delicious. Absolutely ooh. wonderful. Mom's a believer, I told her. Uh huh. She didn't believe me. Mmm. That is so tasty. Mm hmm. Flavorful. It's that smoked paprika and it's the caraway, as mm. well as the butter. The mm. butter does a big thing in there. Anyhow, that's how you make mini meatballs. Try that using your for lasagna instead of all the ground meat. It's nice and cute. Um, pastas, soups, whatever, whatever. Maybe you just didn't think of making them in a smaller size. That's all. Make them for yourselves. I hope you experiment with some of the ingredients that go inside, your spices, your different kind of crumbs, etc. Anyhow, that's how you do it. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. I hope you like the fan page. It's Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly and YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. And my site is Cooking with Kimberly.com. Make sure you check out mom's site at IngridTurnerToday.com. And that's it, that's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously.